parable is not about God blessing you with stuff. That parable is about productivity. Is that when your head is not right and you bury your talent, then you're not fecundant. You're not able to produce. And he comes back and says, what have you done with what I've given you? Well, here it is. All you got is what I gave you. You didn't increase. You didn't recruit. There's no fecundity. And he said, take it away from him and throw him where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. But then the good news today is that there is good soil. Praise the Lord. And this is what he's talking about, fecundity. He said, these are the ones who hear, they accept, and they produce some 30, some 60, some 100. And he looks at them, he said, that's good soil. Those are good Christians. Those are good believers. Why? Look at the producing. Everybody might not produce the same. Some might be 30, some might be 60, some might be 100. He doesn't care about that. All he cares about is that they're producing something. Say amen, everybody. In other words, you ain't got to try to be like somebody else. You got a hundredfold Christian. Don't feel bad because you're 30. You thank God for your 30. Somebody say amen. Come on, if somebody else is 60, you know, don't look down upon somebody who's 30 because they ain't like you. You thank God that at least they're producing something. Fecundity means I am increasing, I am producing for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is very, very powerful. He said in all other teachings in the kingdom are based upon the fact that you are saved, so that you can be a productive member of the body of Christ and you can produce in your own personal life that the world can see Jesus 